Good morning everybody. This is what I'm up to this morning. Starting tomatoes. According to Clyde's Garden Planner, if my last frost date is around May 10th, Mother's Day, then I would start my tomatoes around April 12th, April 19th. So I'm excited about that because I thought I was way behind. Um, but I'm doing okay. Um, so, <laughs> what am I going to do with all these? So last year I started a whole bunch of tomatoes. And I got them to sprout really well. Um, but they just, I didn't end up with any good tomato plants except for the tiger blush. The tiger blush um, grew into this massive bush. Part of it fell down in the driveway. Part of it I was running over. I thought it was not going to produce anything, but as soon as the weather got cooler, it produced like crazy, and they were delicious. So, the Tiger Blush Tomato. I know I like. Dad Sunset. Never had before that I know of. Um, from the local farmer's market, I bought orange tomatoes all year last year, and they were delicious. So, I'm hoping this is similar. Amish Paste, I'm trying again. Mortgage Lifter, I'm trying Bonnie's Best, or Bonnie Best. Um, these, the Grappole de Inferno, I don't know. Trying them for the first time. Black Cherry, I tried to grow last year, failed. Um, Super Sweet 100s have been recommended to me over and over again. Um, these are the seeds that um, the Old Swedes Farm sent me. Thank you, Rich. Um, orange Peach Tomato, never tried before. Ground Cherries. Oh, I have known that I love ground cherries for many years. I can't grow them to save my life. And they're supposed to be, like, almost invasive. They're supposed to, like, almost take over your garden. Not for me. So this is what I'm doing for the ground cherries this year. I just dumped the rest of the packet out in there. And I'm going to see if any will sprout. This is a crepe myrtle experiment. I Yes, I smelled, spelled myrtle wrong. Um, the crepe myrtle, I harvested a whole bunch of seeds when I still lived down by Baltimore. Loved the color of the tree. If it's a hybrid, who knows what it'll turn out like. But I'm trying to sprout some of those seeds. <clears throat> this is my cabbage that's going outside tonight. It's supposed to be another freeze alert. And then we're supposed to go into warm weather. So the cabbage is still in here. The chamomile, that's from before. But these are all my containers. Different containers of tomato starts, I hope. So, if all of these start, I have no idea where I'll put them all, uh, but I'm super excited about the Tiger Blush. I know I love those. Um, the rest we'll see. Okay. Oh, and <laughs> my squash plant, a million female blooms still, still, or male, sorry, male. I'm still waiting to see if I get any female blossoms. Okay. Have a great day. See ya. P.S. I had hoped to put the peas outside in the tank today, but since we're supposed to have another freeze tonight, I'll wait until tomorrow. I'll move them out there tomorrow. So I just moved them to this lower shelf because they like cooler. Um, and then that is for the the heating pad. I have the heating pad, the seed starting heating pad. So this window gives so much warmth and light. I put the tomatoes up here. So look at those peas grow like crazy. I hope to get them outside tomorrow.